Hey, it's Thomas at Vantage Point Survival. Today I wanted to do a little bit of video, a little video about trees and um, renewable food sources, so like gardening and fruit and nut bearing trees. So I wanted to show, this is where my house is, and you could see this huge pine tree. I had one there and I had one over there. Now, <clears throat> that's about, I mean, that's, I have a size 11 shoe, and you can see how it compares. I mean, it's huge. So, came out here one day, and on top of my roof was about a 15 foot length of tree that fell, a limb that fell off of the tree. So, here in the south, the pine trees, they grow everywhere. They grow them for timber and everything else. Um, and they serve a purpose. But when you have soil like mine, that's just terrible. There's nothing in it, and it's sand. You can dig 30, 40 feet in this stuff, and there's nothing there. There's no minerals and no micro, macro nutrients, no nutritional value in these for any type of vegetation so pine trees wind up growing and then they wind up doing things like this one if you can see there's some dead limbs if you look up the tree you'll see some dead limbs and those dead limbs just fall off and eventually the tree gets so large that it's consuming so much that it cannot it cannot um, support its own growth so a couple of different things happen when the pine tree gets like that um, it starts to drop its limbs and then it dies all together and here in the south they have a thing called fat lighter if you're from the south and you'll recognize that term but basically what it is is a dead pine tree that it takes all of the sap goes down into the base and collects and you can't really cut it with a chainsaw because it'll kill your chainsaw blade so you pretty much got to pull it out in a chunk. So this is a piece of fat lighter, what we call it. You can see it's pretty rigid and it smells like pine saw. But this is the best stuff to use to start a fire. And you need very minimal. So I'll do a video on that later, but I kind of wanted to get the point out about fat lighter and how it's made, how it comes about. But like my neighbor has 50 acres over there. He asked me to cut down a tree that was struck by lightning and it was a pine tree and sure enough it was fat lighter so destroyed my chainsaw blade but you know I get free wood from him so I'm not going to complain but back to some of the things that I've done to prepare for um, different different scenarios that may have you know come the future is you know we have a square foot garden going in the back we have chickens we have rabbits um, you know I showed the video of the fodder that we do but I came in the backyard and took a couple trees out and I put in place of them fruit trees a couple mulberries a couple apples peach pear um, and cherry and then here in the front yard I got rid of some nuisance trees that were no good especially those two pine trees that were gonna destroy my house and you can see the treetops out here but I planted a couple almonds a pecan and over there in the nice sunny area I planted a walnut which would be the largest tree that in the pecan but what I wanted to talk about trees specifically was I got my trees from a place called Stark Brothers and what they do is they modify or breed, graft, however you want to call it, the trees to bring out specific traits that you will find desirable. Like me, the almonds, these are thin-skinned almonds. So that means that you don't have to work so hard to get the hull off of the almond. The trees in the backyard are what they refer to as semi-dwarfs, about 10 foot shorter and you get about the same amount of fruit. So then that saves you from having to go so high in the tree. It also produces fruit faster. So that's the avenue that I went. It's a modification, a genetic modification. However, it's not 
you know, sequencing the DNA and pulling out specific traits and adding in whatever they felt like adding in. It's more of a cross-breeding, grafting type of modification. So I'm sure some of you already have seen it, but if you haven't seen it, there's new citrus trees, which I don't have any citrus trees. I gave those to my sister. She lives in a little bit warmer area. As I hear up here where I live, they sometimes die because it gets in the low 20s. So the uh, fruit trees that they've modified, now you can get limes, lemons, and oranges off of one tree. It's kind of odd, but hey, that's where we live in now, so it's kind of a novelty item. But um, I do want to talk about these huge pine trees and uh, bring up the fat lighter because I am going to do a video on that. But... Um, mostly I wanted to inform you about the trees that we chose and why and that those are available because some people I'm sure don't know about semi-dwarf trees and then when you're taking these trees out for no good reason you know other than hey it's a nuisance tree it, that's not what I wanted plant it back in with a useful tree you know yeah you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money on making sure that it has its nutrients, like we will have to make sure it has compost and, you know, rabbit manure and or rabbit droppings rather and urine to fertilize it, but we will get a reward out of that. It's a good hedge against inflation and it's a good hedge against uh, a food shortage. So that's a good uh, survivalist technique for me. So, if you like what you saw, like us on Facebook and like us on YouTube. Appreciate it. Be safe.